The educational thinker I chose was Johann Amos Comenius. He lived from 1592 to 1670 and was known as the father of modern education. Comenius lived during the Thirty Years' War, which was a religious war between the Protestants and the Catholics. The war also faced a power struggle over who would take much of the land of Europe. During this war, Comenius was forced to flee from Moravia to Poland because his house was burned. Once he got to Poland, his house was once again burned, along with much of his educational writings. Comenius's philosophy of education was based off of a universal education. He believed that everyone should be educated, regardless of race, gender, class, intellectual ability, and age. His idea was based off of pacifism, which means a complete knowledge of all subjects. He believed there was harmony between faith, reason, and science, and that they all pointed to a common goal of living in God's image. He also believed that child education should be enjoyable, and the teacher should be loving and gentle, as opposed to harsh and corporal punishment attitude of the education at the time. He also believed that the stages of development were very important in education, and that students should only be given topics that they are ready for. Comenius' theory to practice, he had many educational writings. His most popular writing is The Great Didactic, is when he, where he gave many practical advice to educators from experimental learning, creating an enjoyable experience for the children, and also putting the student at the center. He also created the first illustrated textbook called Orbis Pictus. You can see a picture of this over on the left. He also created great innovations in language learning in his Gates of Languages, which helped many people learn Latin and was translated to over 16 languages. His school system consisted of developmental stages and was split up to a system that is used mostly today. From 0 to 6, his ch children would be taught by their parents. 6 to 12, they would go to a primary school and the next six years they would go to a Latin grammar school similar to the high schools of today. His perspectives on diversity included diversity in people, religion, and knowledge. He believed that all people groups should be educated and they should be educated together. This would help them learn from each other and learn to work together. He also believed in the unification of Protestant churches. He believed that instead of fighting, they should have common doctrine that they all agreed upon so they can work together. He also believed in the learning diverse subjects from religion, science, to music and art. He also believed in diverse teaching methods, especially learning through the senses. This can be seen throughout his visual textbooks and for his encouragement of experimental learning and field trips. There were some who opposed Comenius at the start. In Sweden and Hungary, they asked him to come to improve their education, but his ideas were mainly subject to just the local schools and to his educational writings. His ideas did not spread throughout the country as they were focused on the traditional methods of teaching. His biggest critic was Pierre Bale, who was an Enlightenment philosopher who believed him to be a heretic imposter and his ideas to be unrealistic. These ideas were also shared by the rationalists of the time. He saw great acceptance in modern education. The progressives used many of his ideas for their education. Christian education also accepted his ideas from a biblical worldview. With scholars Johann Pestalozzi and Frederick Froebel also were influenced by many of his ideas, including a focus on childhood play, enjoyment, and also the student-centered aspects. Jean Piaget, the psychologist, also believed that many ideas we have in modern education came from comedians. For the implications today, educators can look to Comenius' harmony between science and religion. He showed that Modern teaching methods of science can also be taught through religion 
and they can give greater insight to each other. They can also follow his ideas of using the media and using as much tools as we have. If Comenius were alive today, he would definitely encourage the use of computer-based instruction and all the technology we have available today. He would also encourage the use of student-centered teaching and active learning for his students.